Question 16. Here are four diagrams. On each one, put a tick if it is a net of a cube. Put a cross if it is not. Now, a net is basically when you take a 3D shape and unfold it and lay it flat into a 2D shape. So these are all 2D shapes. Now, the question is, would they fold up to make a cube? Now, there is no easy way of explaining this because this just depends on visualizing and being able to visualize what each one will like as they are folded up. Would they make a cube? Now, one method that we could use is to think about the six faces of a cube. Bottom, top, front and back, left and right. They are the six faces of a cube. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a letter to each of these. So the bottom I'm going to call big B, top, big T, front is big F, back, can't call it big B, so I'm going to call that little B, left is big L, right is big R. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose a square near the middle of each shape and we're going to call that the bottom of the cube. So for example on this first one we'll call that the bottom. Now what we've got to imagine is each square folding up around this bottom of the cube. Now we can probably late start to label these. So this square would that would fold up that would end up being on the, the left hand side of the cube. This square would be on the right hand side of the cube. Now once this is folded up this square would be around the back of the cube and this square, once the right hand side was folded up, this square would end up being on the top of the cube. And the one that would fold down from the top of the cube would end up being on the front. Now as you can see, what we've managed to do is we've managed to account for all six of the faces. So because we've managed to account for all six of the faces with no overlapping faces, this one must definitely be a cube. So we can tick it. Let's see what happens if we try a similar method on here. So I'm going to pick one near the middle of the cube. Always pick one near the middle to call the bottom because it's easy to imagine the other side wrapping up around it, folding up around it. So this one's near the middle. So let's call this one the bottom. This one will be on the left. This one will be on the right. This one here would be on the front. And this would be the top edge of the front. So this one would then fall onto the top. This one, once the left is folded up, would be near the top edge of the cube. And this one would fold over again. So this one would also be on the top. Now the problem you've got is that this is the top and this is the top. So we've got two overlapping faces on the top of the cube. What we don't have is we don't have a back of the cube. There is no back to this cube because we've got two overlapping faces on the top. So this one definitely can't be. Let's try a similar thing down here. So let's call the one nearest to the middle the bottom. So this one here would fold up around the back. That's a little b. This one would fold up on the right. This would be the top edge of the right, and this one would fold over, so this one would be the top. And this one would fold down from the top, so this would be the front. Now the question is, what is this one? Well, if this back edge folds upwards, this would be the top of the back edge. And this one would fold over onto the top again. So we've actually got two top edges again. Two top edges. And what we need to do is we need to have a left face. We have got no left face. So again, this one would not be a cube. The final one, let's call the one near the middle the bottom. So we've got this would be the back, this would be the front, this one would fold up and be the right hand side, and this one this would be the top edge of the right hand side, so this one would fold over and become the top. 
Now, once the back edge is folded up, this is this edge here is the left of the back edge. So this one would fold around and wrap around to become the left hand side of the cube, the left hand face of the cube. Now, if you check these here, we have actually accounted for all six faces. So this one would be, there are no overlaps, no face appears twice, so this one would also be a cube. As I said earlier, this one is this question has no simple way of explaining it. You've just got to visualize and imagine the cube the faces wrapping up around the bottom edge. If you've got all six faces of the cube, it will be a cube. If you've got any that overlap, it will not be a cube because you'll have one missing face.